Today's lesson, the big wreck, wreck, excuse me. So dialogue makes stories both more realistic and more interesting. Read this paragraph below and write the lines, adding in the dialogue where it's appropriate. So first thing I would do is probably look through this paragraph. Now this paragraph has no dialogue in it at this time because you have to add it in. And when you look through this paragraph, look for where it's dialogue would be appropriate. So like the very first one, Matt saw the car swerve to cut him off and shouted in frustration. Shouted tells us that Matt is talking at that time. So you need to say what he shouted. So at this point, I'm going to put mine off to the sides. You have to rewrite the whole story, but I'm going to just put and you can rewrite it to maybe Matt swerved the saw the car ugh, Matt saw the car swerve to cut him off period I might put in frustration he shouted comma, quotation marks, because now it's going to be what he shouted. And then after your quotation marks, you need a capital letter. So, hey, exclamation mark. I put, you can't really see it. I'm going to move my exclamation mark over here. Hey, watch it. exclamation mark and then I'm gonna move it over here cuz I'm kind of writing in there quotation marks so it said he shouted it said he's frustrated so uh, hey watch it while you're driving might be something he shouted in frustration but I have in frustration he shouted comma quotation marks capital letter Hey, watch it! Exclamation mark. So you have to have your end point. Notice that I have two end points because I have the hey to start it off and then the watch it to end it. So your end mark, quotation mark. So it always needs to have comma, quotation marks, capital letter, end mark, quotation marks. But that's what I added to the story. So the hay watched it. And then go through and see where else he might talk. So anywhere it says, maybe Matt called out. So Matt called out means he's talking. Uh, the word asking. Someone's asking a question. Those are just some that I found. I'm sure there's other places where they're probably tra talking. So your job is to rewrite the paragraph and change it so that there is dialogue in the sentence. Notice in set my first sentence where it says, Matt saw the car swerve to cut him off and shouted in frustration. I didn't have to write in frustration he shouted over again. Instead, I ch cut that sentence short. So Matt saw the car swerve to cut him off, period. Capital letter N, frustration. He shouted, comma, quotation marks, capital letter, hey, watch it, N mark, quotation marks. Can't wait to see what your dialogue is in The Big Wreck.